Hello there, my beautiful friends. In this video, I want to talk about who's the bigger guy. This is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com, and we're going to solve a pretty sick problem. Sick as in good. Now, this problem essentially wants you to find max of two numbers. So if I give you, look at, it, look at line 19. If I give you one, two, you should return two. If you give this function, bigger guy function, if you give it 10 and 20, it should return 20. If you give it 20 and 10, it should return 20. And if you give it two and one, it should return two. Get the idea? And same thing with the strings, but you don't have to do anything special. Python knows how to check strings against each other, okay? So let's code this up. Notes are below, solution is below. I think you guys know the drill at this point. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, that is. If you're watching it on my website, everything is going to be there in your face. So first step, DEF, define. We're writing a function that does this, right? Look at the instructions. Write a function bigger guy. So I know that I do this with my eyes closed. Now, what is it taking? It takes in two numbers. So I know that it takes in two inputs. I can say num1, num2 or something, okay? And what can I do here? Well, I want to check between those two numbers and whichever is the bigger one, I want to return that number, right? So using if statements and comparison operators, we can do all of this together. If you haven't solved this yet, or if you haven't tried to solve it on your own, please don't watch this. Pause, try the problem, then come back. But here's the solution for you guys, for you eager beavers. If num1 is greater than num2, return num1, right? If num1 is bigger. Well, otherwise, return num2, right? In the case where num2 is equal to num1, do we care which one we want to return? Of course not, we don't care. We just wanna return any of them, it doesn't matter, okay? To specify that for you guys here, I'll, I'll be nice and I'll add in another test, okay? 10, 10, it should sure return 10. I really don't care what it returns in the case where their two are the same, okay? And what if they are, what if num2 is the one that's greater? Well, in either of those cases, right? The first case, we return num1. If it's the case where they're equal or if num2 is greater, we return num2, which is why we don't need to give a condition. We just say else and we're done. Now let's uh, let's check this bad boy and let's see how it works, right? Let's, uh, let's give it some, okay, here, I'll just do it to be extra tangible here for you guys, right? So uh, let's, uh, let's do three, five, it returns five. Let's give it five nine, it returns nine. And if I gave it five, five, it should return five, right? So we know what it does. And here, let's uncomment this line. And when I run it, it should say your code is correct, which means that it passed all of these assertion tests. And then at the end, it said your code, it, then it went and said your code is correct. Now, what if all right, I'm gonna save that for the next problem because next problem is gonna be a lot more fun and more challenging where you're gonna to have to solve the biggest guy. So if I give you three guys, what do you do? We're gonna discuss that in the next problem. If you haven't already, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.